Welcome back everybody, how you doing tonight? So, uh, I had a pretty rough day at work today, and, uh, a rough couple weeks. <laughs> My day job there, so, uh, I just kind of want to unwind, even if it cost me a bunch of money, and open a Kaladesh box just for the fun of it. Um, who knows, we might get a lottery car, but unlikely. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I got six of these boxes from the same seller at the same time. They did not come in a case, though. They just came packaged in a, a different, bigger box, wrapped in there individually. So, uh, I don't know if these are all from the same case or not. So, I'm not sure. If there could be no lottery cards in any of them. There could be lottery cards in this one and the other four that I still have. Because so, <laughs> I opened one and there's no lottery card. But, uh, there's not much money in this set. So, this is probably going to cost me like 100 bucks to crack this box open but like i said i just want to <laughs> haven't opened a lot of calidus so i wanted to break into it and see what we get here um really there's uh the mythics are really just the planeswalkers and the gear hulks tend to be the big value but there is a good rare land cycle in here as well which is another reason i don't mind opening this because i want the lands because i'm a sucker for good lands dual lands that uh don't come into play tapped i'm totally down with those so Let's break into this thing and see if we get lucky with a lottery card or if we just throw a whole bunch of money down the trash right now. <laughs> this is probably what just happened. I probably just threw a whole pile of money right in the trash. <laughs> these, car, uh, these boxes are lottery card or bust. I mean, these these boxes are really, yeah, the epitome of lottery card or bust. Um, I think there's less value in cards in these than there even is in the... Uh, the Battle for Zendikar boxes I opened, which were worth like 50 bucks, I think, uh, without the lottery card that I got in one of them. <laughs> so anyways, oops, wrong packs around. I like the packs. Um, packs are pretty cool. I like the blue. It works. And I got the Jace playmat to match it, so let's see if we get anything spicy. Probably not, but hey, we got bent cards. That's that's always good, you know, when the cards are warped right out of the package. Good quality there, watchy. Nothing in the common or uncommon slot in this set at all of any value, or at least of anything like over a buck fifty. Uh, Engineer Mike, Consulate Surveillance, Era of Innovation, and Master Trinketeers, our first rare. Um, and our foil is Weld Fast Monitor, so we got a foil in the first pack. That's kind of, that's cool. Um, Master Trinketeer, I don't think he's on the price list. Don't think he's worth anything. So. We'll just move right along. Yeah, all these packs are warped. What is going on with that? Like, seriously. Kind of annoying feeling when I'm kind of shuffling through them and they're all warped like this. Uh, Whirler Virtuoso, Make Obsolete, Creepy Mold. I got another foil too. Key to the City is our Artifact Rare and a Foil Blossoming Defense. So two packs, two foils. That's unusual for these a uh, little bit older sets. I think this was before they thought it was before they ramped up the foils, but maybe not. Might have been afterwards. Uh, any of you guys around when this set came out? Were you able to draft it? Uh, this set's just brand new to me because, you know, I just started back in November <laughs> after a 12-year absence. So I did not see this set at all. Uh, Harsh Scrutiny, Fairgrounds Warden. Start your engines and cultivator of blades. Another foil, oh, our foil rare. Cumball, console of allocation. <laughs> Is that the guy that decides when allocation's up at Watsy? <laughs> I wonder if he looks like that. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. So, oh, three, three packs, three foils, one of them's a rare. That's, that's weird. <laughs> There's some kind of a broken box that's gonna have a foil in every pack. That'll be kind of unique. Especially if there was any good foils. Like a foil Chandra, because Chandra is the most expensive card in here, the Tortured Defiance, which is probably going to drop a little bit now that they're reprinting that one, I believe, is the one they're putting in the uh, spell book. Skywhaler Shot, Janjeet Sentry, Servant of the Conduit, and Architect of the Untamed, and no foil. Uh, yep, yeah, spoke too soon. <laughs> Looks like we just got lucky there having three foils in the first three packs. The first three warped packs all these cards are bent can you see that on camera they're actually bent all of them okay the other box i don't remember being like that so but yeah they're they're full on bent <laughs> hey they're born marauder durable handicraft 
Perpetual Timepiece and Tool Craft Exemplar. So nothing spicy so far. In fact, uh, nothing over a buck I don't think so far. Well, there's not much, uh, not much value in the set. <laughs> I think I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, once or twice. All right, so lottery card bust. Eh, packs, packs falling everywhere. Emerald Bruiser, unlicensed disintegration. You should always get a license before you disintegrate something. Uh, Arrow of Innovation, Aether Squall Ancient. What is going on there? It's like a giant worm, like trying to swallow the sun, or what? Ah, no, it's weird. And then another foil, a uh, Furious Reprisal. We're getting a lot of foils in this first stack here. Kind of unusual. What are you guys thinking of this uh, Core 2021? Looks pretty crazy. Already got an infinite combo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, not an infinite combo in the set, but uh, one of the cards creates an infinite combo. Uh, hazardous Conditions, Fretwork Colony, Visionary Augmenter, and Cataclysmic Gear Hall for our first Mythic. Uh, I think this is one of the cheaper of the Gear Hulks. Um, yeah, I don't even know if this one's on the praise list. This is probably the cheapest Gear Hulk there is. Yeah, it looks like the Torrential Gear Hulk, the Noxious Gear Hulk, and the Combustible Gear Hulk are all worth uh, at least a couple bucks, but this one's not even on the list. So, one of the worst Mythics right off the bat. So far, we have not made a penny. <laughs> we literally don't have a single card over a dollar fifty yet. <laughs> That's just not good. Oh, weapon craft enthusiast, inventor's apprentice, minister of inquiries, and madcap experiment. I think this was one that uh, was worth something, but then they reprinted it, and now it's not because it wasn't really terribly popular, I guess. No. Oh, it's probably because just artifacts just aren't getting a lot of play right now. They need to do something about that, which I think they're gearing up to it, hopefully. Because um, I love artifacts. I think artifacts, you know, should be a thing. Uh, Wisp Weaver Angel, Veteran Motorists, Glint Nest Crane, and Scrap Heap Scrounger. I mean, all, the, all my favorite blocks that I remember um, in the history... In, Pretty much all my, all my, most of my favorite blocks were all artifact blocks. I mean, you had Antiquities was, you know, uh, I started the day Revised Drop, so the only, um, that was actually a couple of weeks before Legends came out, so literally Arabian Nights and Antiquities were the only expansion sets that were out when I started playing. Make Obsolete, Morbid Curiosity, GNG Century, Botanical Sanctum, finally got one of the rare lands. Uh, it's been a been a minute. We almost got through the first stack without a single one, and that's bad because that's where the the kind of value adds up in this set. That's our first hit. It's uh, about an $8 card. Um, but before that, we literally had no money on the board at all. <laughs> well, I don't know. I gotta look up that uh, the rare foil there. He might be worth a buck. Um, he's not on the price list by himself, so he's I don't think... Oh, wait. There he is. Oh, okay. It's a $4, $4 foil. So, yeah, he is actually a buck fifty by himself. Unfoil, non-foil, unfoiled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fretwork Colony, either Torch Renegade, either Meltdown, and Combustible Gear Hawk. Finally, a Mythic that's actually on the board. Nice. All right, and last pack of stack one. Hopefully, we get another rare land or twenty, because that's really, <laughs> aside from the Chandra, that's really the. The best we can hope in a bunch of the good rare lands. All right. Essence Extraction, Contraband Kingpin, Trusty Companion, and Cultivator's Caravan. Yeah, I'm surprised that that artwork passed through. You know, nobody was like, hey, doesn't that look like a... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So, uh, anyways, back to my conversation about artifacts there. Speaking of artifacts, like, like all the tokens of this set are artifacts. <laughs> That's crazy. At least all the ones I've opened so far. Um, yeah, I mean, so you had Antiquities. Great artifact set. You had... Then you had the Urza's Block. Amazing artifact set. 
And then, of course, we had Mirrodin, which was probably my one of one of my uh, arguably my one of my favorite sets to draft or my favorite blocks to draft. Period. Uh, it's kind of a tie between that one and Time Spiral because Time Spiral was also an amazing block to draft. But uh, Mirrodin, I don't know. I'd have to really sit down and and kind of think about which one I like better because they were both amazing blocks to draft. Uh, and they're both, you know, uh, and Mirrodin was all, pretty much all artifacts. Decoction model, module, sorry, incendiary sabotage, durable handicraft, and authority of the consoles. I think that's like a buck or two. Um, well, four bucks. Okay, not bad. Decent little hit. Um, I guess we can put it. I guess we can make like a hits pile of everything that's over a buck fifty because save myself some time after we're done. <laughs> after I'm done, I don't have to look it all up because it's all right there. So. <laughs> all right, let's keep cruising along here. So, yeah, I really I like artifacts. I think uh, artifact heavy sets are really just a lot of fun, you know, because you you're not limited by colors and you're not limited as much by a certain specific scheme as you are usually with more color-based sets. Uh, long Thin Skyway. Oh, I think there might be a foil in here. Snare Thopter, Malthus Doorbuster, and Territorial Gorger. And a Thriving Grubs Common Foil. So, you know, because artifacts fit in any deck. So, you're not limited like you are. And it seems like they've really been slacking on the artifacts a lot lately. I mean, aside from the, uh, what was it, the... the the Lotus and Theros Beyond Death, there really hasn't been any really phenomenal art. Well, I mean, Stone Coil Serpent. So, okay, I take that back. Stone Coil Serpent and Throne was amazing. That's That one's going to be in a lot of decks for a long time. <laughs> Oval Chase Daredevil, Voltaic Brawler, Giripper Guide, and Sahili's Artistry. Not the Sahili card we wanted. Sahili herself is worth a few bucks, but I don't think the Artistry is worth anything here. Um, no, I don't really think so. So, nothing, nothing crazy there. All right, we're getting towards halfway through the box, and not too much of anything uh, exciting. Kind of, kind of what I figured. But you never know; your luck could change at any moment if you pull one of those shiny little, uh, what was it, invocations in Kaladesh? I think. Uh, no, that was a uh, Monket. What am I thinking? Um. Uh, I'll think of it in a second. Aerial Responder, Glimmer of Genius, Servo Exhibition, Midnight Oil. The card's almost as good as the band. Neither one's seen a lot of play. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, yeah. I, I really love the Mirrodin block. Uh, Time Spiral block was epic, too. But, yeah, Mirrodin with all the artifacts, there was just so many ways you could go with it. Because you could, you could, you know, build... A similar deck in pretty much every color if it was mostly artifact based. Uh, Fabrication Module, Fairgrounds Trumpeter, Brazen Scourge, and Syndicate Trafficker is our next worthless rare. So, <laughs> yeah, the uh, looks like we got a lot of crazy stuff coming up though. I don't see any artifact heavy stuff, but uh, they really need to do a return to that. It's been quite a, quite a while by the looks of it since they had an artifact heavy set. Um, so, I think they should put that early next year. One of the next sets. Hopefully, it's going to be artifact based. Bowmap Bazaar's Barge. Yeah. Engineer Mike. Morbid Curiosity. And Electrostatic Pummeler. Good old energy stuff. I heard that was fun, but overpowered. Which I probably would have loved because if it's overpowered, I enjoy it. <laughs> I think the card should be overpowered. I liked Companion. I thought it was just fine. I was like, I don't know what everybody's complaining about. Um, <laughs> Cloud Blazer. Decoction Module again. Veteran Motorist. And Sovereign Council... Or Sky Sovereign Council Flagship is our next Mythic. That is not worth anything. Um, yeah. Not much worth anything in here at all. <laughs> this whole set is quite surprising. Quite surprising. Not much value in here. <clears throat> Demolition Stomper. Gear Shift Ace. Spark of Creativity. And Lost Legacy. 
So, uh, let me know what you think. What, did, you, did you like the artifact sets? Do you prefer more artifact heavy stuff? Or do you like having more colored stuff, which just kind of seems to limit the deck building capabilities of a, of a particular set or block or era or standard or whatever? Shrewd negotiation, sequestered stash, either meltdown, and concealed courtyard. Finally, our second rare land. Could really use a lot more of those to make me feel a little better. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, Chandra Spellbook. I could really use a Chandra right about now. Um, please, please pack. Give me a Chandra. Uh, Imperial Voyager. Foundry Inspector. Uh, Armorcraft Judge. And Animation Module. That is not a Chandra. That's exactly not what I asked for. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, um, the Chandra Spellbook looks like it's going to be really, really cool. Uh, like I said, I've said before, uh, she is my favorite. Uh, of the Planeswalkers, because I really like running red. I like chaos. Destruction, chaos. Both both fun. <laughs> Demolition Stomper. Shrewd Negotiation again. Gear Shift Ace. And Panharmonicon. There we go. This is the second most valuable card in the set at a whopping $10.47. And then a foil Imperial Voyager. And there's another hit up there. And another foil. Alright, last pack of stack number two before we get into the, the final 12 packs here so yeah the spell book looks really cool um should be coming out i think next weekend uh, i think it's supposed to be the 17th or something like that so uh my lgs i asked them to call me when they got word on pricing and stuff so i could pre-order some and they haven't called me yet so apparently they're selling so much stuff, they don't need my money. <laughs> Aerial Responder, Ballista Charger, Speedway Fanatic, Gear Part Orrery. I think this one's, uh, is this the one that's getting reprinted in 2021? I think it might be. I think this one's just about to get the reprint again. Uh, it's not going to hurt the value any because it's not valuable <laughs> at all. So, there's that. <laughs> not on the price list at all, so. All right, last 12 packs. Um... So we had a 25% chance of a lottery card when we started the box, and then you cut that down in threes. Yeah, we're probably not getting a lottery card. <laughs> so, uh, Sky Whaler Shot, Bowmap Bizarre Barge again, Creepy Mold, and Dipala Pilot Exemplar. Uh, I think at one point that one was worth a couple bucks, but that point is past, I believe. I don't think that point is uh, is existing anymore. Come on, Chandra. Come on, Chandra. Give me Chandra. Um, and War Rear Land. Either one. I'm fine with either one. Wait, wait. What was that? Did I... Yep. I had uncommons on top of the commons. Oops. Oh, why'd you guys let me do that? You guys are slacking. Don't want to get your uncommons mixed up with the commons. Uh, Oval Chase Daredevil. Trusty Companion. And Experimental Aviator, and Captured by the Consulate. What do you guys think about the whole changing hound to dog thing? Frankly, I think it's lame as hell. Um, this is supposed to be a fantasy card game, and hound definitely sounds a little more mythical than dog. Uh, I was watching some video where they were showing, you know, some watchy official video where they were had a Rosewater meeting with all these people, surprise meeting with all these people talking about the sets and talking about the game and all that. And he was like, he's like, I've been trying to change this for 20 years and I finally did it. I finally got how and changed the dog. Woo! And he's all excited. And I'm just like, dude, that's the lamest thing I've ever heard in my life. Hound sounds much cooler than dog. I mean, it's a fantasy card game. You'd think something that sounded more fantastical like hound would be better <laughs> dogs just sounds lame arborback stomper glinton s crane gear shift ace and inspiring vintage or vantage sorry so at least we got another rare land and another foil uh pima outrider just a common just a common nothing exciting so yeah i don't know i, I thought hound sounded better hound sounded like it fit the game better dog just sounds stupid um yeah that's just me uh, Nature's Way, Underhanded Designs, Snare Thopter, and 
Marionette Master. Wow, we're getting all the terrible cards in this entire set. <laughs> we have, what, four hits aside from the three rare lands? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I just threw away a lot of money. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Please give me a thumbs up because this cost me a lot of money to do for not, not much reason. Uh, Oval Chase Dragster, Wish Weaver Angel, Incendiary Sabotage, and Inventor's Fair. Okay. Um, it's not the dual lands like I was hoping for, but it is a couple bucks. Uh, I think it's... Um, my, my focus seems to not be... I don't think it likes this... Uh, this playmat, the blue playmat at all here. Um, I think I might have to uh, probably not use this one as much. Uh, Inventor's Fair is like four and a half bucks, so we'll put it up there with the other mediocre hits that are possible in this set. <laughs> so, all right, getting down there. Uh, after this one, we'll only have six more packs. So, hopefully, there's a Chandra in here. That'd be nice. Is it Chandra or Chandra or Chandra? Wait, I don't even know what I'm saying now. Harness Lightning, Speedway Fanatic, Fairgrounds Trumpeter, and Deadlock Trap. I guess traps were a thing. I don't even really know what they are. The cards, I know that much. I wasn't around, so I'm not sure. Uh, you can feel free to leave me a comment what the hell traps were and if anybody actually liked them or not. Um, wow. That card is like so faded on the logo. Can you see that? Like, look at the look at the em the emblem the set set emblem. There's like a couple like really faded ones in there. Weird. All right, moving on. Um, Iron League Steed, Quicksmith Genius, Disappearing Act, and Paradoxical Outcome. If we'd actually made money on this box, that would have been a paradoxical outcome. <laughs> But it doesn't look like we will have a paradoxical outcome tonight because we're down to five packs and I ain't seen a lot of cards. You guys see a lot of cards? I didn't see a lot of cards. So, anyways, there's some really good sets look like they're coming out. Looks like Core 2021 is going to be just an epic core set. Long Tusk Cub. Long Tusk Cub. Tried to combine them. Didn't work. Aether Hub. Armorcraft Judge. And Dubious Challenge. And a foil ornamental courage. Most challenges can be fairly dubious by nature. There we go. Four packs left. Will we get a lottery card right at the close? Very doubtful. Um, seems like lottery cards, anyone though that I've seen open, seem like they show up pretty early in the box. Hazardous conditions, harsh scrutiny, perpetual timepiece, and metalwork colossus. This guy, uh, he looks fun. 1010. He costs... X less to cast, where X is total converted mana cost of non-creature artifacts you control. Sacrifice two artifacts, return it from your graveyard to your hand. He's a 10-10. I'm sure there was some decks built around this. Were they any good? Um, he's not very valuable, so I doubt it. <laughs> I think uh, it would have been a really cool deck. People would probably still be building it, and he'd still have some value left in him. But I don't see him on the list, so... Uh, probably not any really cool decks around. Oh, there's another faded logo in there. Did you see that? It's like the same spot. So I think what happened was, uh, so I think that particular card sheet must have must have been faded on the on the black ink or something because uh, it seemed to be in the same spot as the last pack too. <laughs> Chief of the Foundry, Whirler Virtuoso, Elegant Edge Crafters, and Another gear per orary, re, re, re. Um, like how we say it? Orary, orary. It's like somebody with a <laughs> a funny speech impediment trying to say, "Oh, really? Orary." Oh, hmm. I see. <laughs> yeah, it's late. It was a long day. After a long week. After a long month. After a long life. Um, <laughs> Furious Reprisal, Visionary Augmenter, Sequestered Stash, and Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Just doesn't look like a... It looks like a car. It doesn't look like a magic card. Why won't you focus? It, it hates this Jay's Playmat. It's just, it just hates it. Last pack. We already got our Foil Rare. 
So we're not going to get anything exciting in the rear or in the foil spot unless it's a lottery card. Like I said, the odds of a lottery card in the last pack are pretty much almost null. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video because this cost me a lot of money. <laughs> All right. Ballista Charger. Long Tusk Cub. Diabolic Tutor. Hey, I forgot that was an uncommon in here. Uh, and it's not even on the price list with it. Diabolic Tutor used to be a really valuable card back in the day. I don't know. Hey, Noxious Gearhawk. At least we got a, uh, a Mythic that's on the board at the very end here. But no lottery card. Boo. All right, Noxious Gearhawk is uh, like five bucks. So we got a few hits. We got, we got four Mythics. Two of them are actually worth four or five bucks. The other two are worthless. Um, we got three of the rare land cycles, a little less than I wanted. I was hoping for four or five. Um, we got the inventor's pair, the panharmonica. We did get the, uh, Campbell or Campbell or whatever his name is in a foil. He's worth four bucks and the authority of the consoles is worth a couple bucks. So, um, yeah, four bucks. We got a price, four bucks, four bucks, four bucks, four bucks. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're old if you if you actually get that reference. Um, anyways, I'm saying that because I'm really old. Because <laughs> I made the reference. So, anyways, hopefully you guys like the video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new sets coming out. Core 21 looks like it's going to be pretty epic core set. Um, maybe one of the best core sets since the 90s. Um, uh, obviously, Double Masters looks pretty epic so far. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting some Grim Tutors because th that's a card that I really wanted back in the day and wasn't able to get my hands on because it was just, you know, the, the starter, what was it, starter or portal that that was printed in was just very, really hard to find, even, even at the time. I mean, we were looking for it and it was just really, it wasn't out there. It was really hard to get our hands on it. Even, even I was playing at that time and we couldn't, we just couldn't get it. The, the, those sets were just... Not, not at all the game store. The, the LGS is just didn't really seem to have them back then or anything. I'm not really sure where they ended up. At least here in Florida, it was uh, really hard to get my hands on portals or uh, the starters type stuff. Um, we could get the starter decks. They made this uh, kind of like rectangular kind of box. Basically uh, a little bit larger than a spell book uh, type box. And it had like, like the two kind of like 20 or 30 card kind of starter pre-cons in there and then like i think it had like a cd that or a dvd or something that told you how to play or something like that i don't remember all that was in it but it, it was a uh, it was just pretty lame and it was all pre-con stuff and i think there might have been like one booster pack in there um but the portal stuff we just really didn't see here at all i think that was more for uh they're trying to get uh people outside the u.s in into the game with the portal stuff uh, but yeah, so we didn't see a lot of that. So I didn't get any Grim Tutors back in the day. Um, and it was a card I always wanted because I, I really loved Diabolic Tutor was pro or Demonic Tutor was one of my favorite. I uh, just uh, saw it in here and said the wrong one. Uh, Demonic Tutor was one of my favorite cards back then. Still is. I still have some original ones. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they, so I love the tutor, the ability to go in your library, find the card you needed and get it in your hand right away. So you could get those combos off. Cause I really like fun combos. Those are my favorite. So, <laughs> anyways, I'll be looking forward to getting some of those in Core 21. Um, Jumpstart. God, does anybody know anything about Jumpstart? Jumpstart could either, like, catch us all by surprise and be an absolute monster, or it could be something really lame. I don't know. It could go either way. Uh, I have a feeling it's not going to ride down the middle, though. It's going to be one or the other. Uh, but they really haven't spoiled anything on it yet, so we don't know what's going to be in there. But it's a big set. I think there's like 1,200 reprints or 1,200 cards in that set, and like half of them are reprints or something, and half of them aren't tournament legal, aren't standard legal. So it's going to be a it's going to be a weird set. I don't know what to think about that one yet. We'll have to see. I'll uh, try and get a bunch pre-ordered if I can. I'm a little tight on money these days, but I'll do as much as I can and uh, try and open some for everybody. So hopefully uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and checking out some very, very low, <laughs> uh, low valued cards here. I think so what do we got uh, about 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, about $50 worth of cards probably in this box. 
yeah and this was uh these are like 180 dollar boxes right now so yeah there's that lottery card or bust and we landed on bust so hopefully you guys throw me a thumbs up or an f for respect or something uh leave some comments what you think about the new upcoming sets and uh hopefully we'll catch you in the next one thank you so much guys you take care good night